Hello YouTube, what's going on? It's Michael and I'm here with episode 23 of Heavy Rain. In the last episode, we investigated the death of John Shepard as with as Scott and Lauren and led to flashback and Madison in Madison spoke to Paco and interrogated him about who John Shepard is and who owned the apartment. Um moving on straight to the next episode, to the next chapter, um we're now playing as Norman Jean and we're about to start the mission, so let's let's start it. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Oh, it's you. It's Garth. I don't hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing down there, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you kept me out of prison, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paid. Hey, wait, what you doing? Don't fuck around, man. No, no. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. No, don't keep me. Jaden. He's getting away. He's off. God damn it. Yeah, he pushed that railing. Let's talk to this guy. Did Paco know the guy I came to see him? Sorry. I don't speak cop. Whoa. What's my list, asshole? Because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. I guess that's John Shepard then. 
Man, what are you lucky to? Let's go in and investigate. Um, you won't get any trophies for finding everything, but it'll obviously contribute to the game and to the trophy you'll get at the very end of the game. Um, but this is the last time that we'll actually be investigating. So let's um, get the Ari on and we'll scan the area. <coughs> I don't think I ever actually brought this up, but if you correctly identify the origami page. killer at the end of the game what and you find all doing? the necessary clues in the three missions that we called, which was crime investigation, no, FBI investigation, um, Mad Jack, Orchid and now this one. If you found all the necessary ones as well as find the correct guy, then you get a trophy called Back Nerd. I think it's a silver trophy. Instant death. But yeah. Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. I don't think this, ep this series is going to go on for much longer. The killer was looking for I mean, something. the actual storyline, anyway. Because we've still got to do the trophy guide. And the... His coat pocket. Um, I tore it off during the fight. The Two DLC as in the well. Same gas station. Interesting. Forty-five caliber semi-automatic. Forty-five caliber. That's our pistol. Like I said, I don't know what specific things you need to know um, for it to be counted as a clue, so I'm just going to go ahead and find everything. Lipstick. Madison Page? She may be a witness. I don't, I don't know 100%, but I think I might have searched everything, let's just have a, a quick hunt through. Right, yeah, definitely not. Alright. Oh, got the shakes and the cold sweats. I'll get back to the hotel fast. So... Let's listen to what he thinks. I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. And then we'll leave. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. Yeah. On the right track, do you think? I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. Shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast, didn't have time to see his face. Hako knew the killer. That's why he was killed. Gotta go. Need to think about all this. The killer may have left some clues in the office. Okay, well... Very safe, Let's get out of here. And this last time we're gonna see the Blue Lagoon. So we're going to move straight on into the next chapter, which is on the loose, I believe. We play as Ethan and Madison this time. I haven't 
11.39 p.m. Poor guy. I'll still be upset about him, uh, him killing that guy. Ethan, are you all right? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Okay then. So we're gonna get back dressed, we're gonna see what trial we're gonna have to do. And then we're on from there. See what this last trial is. The last letters nine six one Rainbow Lane. <sighs> A bit brief. Okay, let's go. Are you so interested in this? Uh. Weird. What's in the notebook? This time, and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I. You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but. What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ooh. Ethan, it's not what you think. I. You lied to me, Madison. All this time, you fucking lied to me. I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and. And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. 
I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you, that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. Okay, I'm gonna forgive her here. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. I was really annoyed. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, let's go up. Now we gotta find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. I, um, I think I'm starting to fall in love. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. That's I'll be true. able to help him now that he knows who I am. Um, but yeah, so um, you can, there's two trophies that you can get from that um, option you could pick there to forgive or not to forgive. I should choose forgive because it seems like the better option, but if you choose not to forgive, you'll also get a trophy. That's not the only one that you get in this chapter, though. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. So, to the phone. It's all over for Ethan. Keep out of this, Madison. Just just get on your bike and take no, off. No, no, take off. It's number two. Come on, what was the damn number? Come on, come on! Pick up the phone! Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Oh dear. There's another ambush. Jump for it! <laughs> Move! Get him! He's making a run for it! He's on the balcony! So yeah, the other trophy is um, you just pretty much got to escape him again.
Scott again. We're at twenty four minutes in. Should get two trophies now. Love a boy, that's what we get for forgiving Madison. And <clears throat> Escape Master for escaping the police. <sighs> Now what's going on here? I've got a shell with PI. What's going on, Scott? What's going on? You're going home? Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. Oh, for good. God. That took a turn for the worst real quick. What's going on here? Oh no. Oh crap. Laura! No! No! Shit! Try and get out of this. I was going to take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. 
You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me, okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. Oh dear. Well, yeah, go go settle a few scores like like the man said. Trophy. There is swimming in structure. That's what we get for saving Lauren. Oh, he's mad. Let's go. son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! Ah. Oh. Oh. You're a fucking liar! Now tell me the truth! No! No, please! Don't hurt me! Last chance! I don't know! I swear! I don't know anything! <laughs> Stop! Stop! I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident, an unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy, Gordy is my son. I guess that's okay then. Is that settled there? What? No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. 
The street trash, like so many others. Oh. You Get disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother... His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne right. Shepard. Well, let's leave then. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! Oh, that will yeah. happen because, you know... I don't like him. We also get a trophy from it called Kind Hearted. But, you know, it's only fair. Because it would be cruel to let him die. to um, Madison um, so stop it after this but I'll just show you the two trophies that we got first <sighs> for doing that mission so we invincible Scott for taking no damage during the gunfight and kind hearted for giving Kramer medicine so we're going to stop it there guys um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this episode um, if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.